Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next contest. Please welcome our first fighter to enter the cage, Josh Herdman. Josh Herdman in the house. Pumped up, hyped up, ready to rock and roll here at The Rock. Rise of Champions, exciting fights all night long. But Dean, this one, a really special one and all the attention and all the hype for this fight night here in London. It's two guys making their debut. The first of which, Josh Herdman, out of Pro Mai, at 80 kilograms. This is a catchweight bout here tonight. And Josh, ever confident mood, really excited to show his skills for the first time on such a great stage. He's eager to come out in this platform, the rise of champions, to showcase his abilities, in particular, his striking skills. He has good range, good power at the end of that range. He's able to circle out really well and he wants to show that tonight. Certainly an entertaining guy in his own right. A lot of fans in the building though, excited to see who's O will go one way or the other tonight. Here we go, Herdman in the ring. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your second fighter to enter the cage, Janusz Walachowski. Janusz Walachowski here from Team Titan. Absolutely ecstatic here to see this guy tonight. Again, making his debut, Dean, but training harder than ever, and really the preparations couldn't have gone more smoothly. Yeah, Chu's coming in huge, huge at his own weight, let alone this catch weight. So let's see if this extra weight allowance can pay dividends in the power transfer to these strikers here. And indeed, on the map, Janusz has a really good strength and conditioning routine, Dean. Janusz is doing kettlebells, he's doing all the other crazy stuff that you see MMA athletes do. And he feels that will be the difference in Janusz's explosivity, if you will. Janusz able to change levels brilliantly. And often the plyometrics, the jumping over the boxes you sometimes see on YouTube, training is really really focused to that wrestling shot and the power you can transfer from the ground up taylor made there at team titan janish walikovsky in the building back to grant waterman and we'll get things ready to roll here in the rock ladies and gentlemen this next contest is a rise of champions catch weight contest introducing these two warriors the fighter standing in the blue corner he weighed in at 79 kilograms. He represents Pro My MMA. He is Josh Herdman. And standing across the cage in the red corner, he weighed in at 79.5 kilograms. He is from Poland. He represents Team Titan. He is Janusz Walachowski. Your referee in charge of action is Sam Meaton. It's a catch weight contest here at the Rise of Champions out of the red corner from Team Titan. The Polish fighter Janusz Walachowski taking on Josh Herdman from Pro Mai in the blue. Herdman coming out with that boxing stance. His shoulder nice and high to cover his chin. Working on the outside. And Janusz very tense, ready to absolutely light the fuse here. Janusz showing a lot of movement though with that windmilling of the hands. It could be a little bit of subterfuge to get a hold of his opponent though, Dean, and drag him down to the ground. Janusz switching stances, looking for the kick, the rear kick, the rear power kick. Working on the outside, staring down the pipe, looking for a way in. Josh doing a great job of staying on the outside, not committing to too much, firing that jab out, keeping his opponent at bay. Nice left hook to rear kick from Janusz. And Janusz looking a lot more loose now. I think he's got a gauge of the jab. And there's a real battle going on there with that lead foot, the moment Janusz switches up as well, which will obviously allow him more power. 
It's very interesting to look at the different distancing occurring from both fighters. We haven't seen a single kick yet from Josh Herdman. And is using that jab and the hook to circle Josh out to his left side and throw the big head kick. That's what you'll see from Yanush. They often guide you to where he wants to go. Confident on the outside striking. Yet to see a takedown attempt from either fighter. And Herdman keeping those hands up. The shoulders rolled. Good lateral movement to the left and the right. Long, long left punch there from Southpaw. And then Yanush swans, uh, swaps stances to go back to orthodox. You can really throw off a fighter's rhythm if your opponent's switching stances because you have to circle to the other way. So the other punches will be opened up for you. The danger could be the right hand, but now it's the rear left. So Josh is going to have to try and adapt to that. Oi, nice coming forward jab. Let's see him follow it up. Janusz covering very nicely and moving to his right. Got to watch out for that left hook, though. You're starting to see Herdman finish his combinations whether he leads with the right or left hand with the left hook. Wow, nice little back fist there. And spinning, going 360 into a back fist is Herdman. Right hook and then the left hook, that was the one. You can see a little bit of an opening there over the right eye socket from that left hook. That's what did the damage there on Janusz. Janusz bleeding from the eye. The punch has landed from Josh. His boxing skills coming fruitful thus far. Big jabs there from Josh, really powerful, stiff jabs as Janusz landed some punches of his own on the inside. Both fighters opting to keep this fight standing. As I say that, Janusz initiates the clinch up against the cage, looking for the underhooks. Nice knee on the inside by Josh. Josh Herman, very, very adept throughout that round, thriving on the chaos, arguably at a slight reach disadvantage able to really capitalize with some of that boxing, Dean, and that was certainly the most punishing shots of either fighter throughout that round. Josh Herdman on the outside, he didn't take the urgency in, he didn't rush. He ate a few head kicks, and he's kept his composure on the outside, and then found his way in and landed those decisive shots. Really smart boxing for MMA from Josh Herdman. A nod from Janusz towards his fans here in the front row at the Rise of Champions. Packed out crowd here in London. But he's taken on a very determined Josh Herdman. Herdman, very decisive in the boxing round. Fast punches, quick chambering, not a lot of telegraphing, but noticeable sense of urgency from Janusz here in the opening part of this round, Dean. I think that's what Janusz needed as he came out to this round. He looked a bit disheartened. The crowd gave him some support and he looked like he literally switched on. And now he's looking for a way in, mixing up the body shots with the head shots. Nice Vicious back. right. Straight cross right over the top of the guard. But that's what everybody really wanted to see, including the corner from Janusz, was a big takedown. Using the punches to set up the takedown, which is very key. Keep Josh thinking, keeping him thinking he's going to get the counter upstairs and then go downstairs and take him down. Yanis needs to start working from inside this guard. Watch the armbar attempt there from Josh. And that was something we hadn't seen one bit of at all. Yanis certainly lacking in some visibility out of that right eye. And Herbin trying to take advantage of that by spinning towards it with that back fist. Josh so comfortable to punch in the pocket. Really at one with the distance, which allows him to throw those massive spinning back fist as he's a barrage of punches at Janusz is forced to cover up. Oh, he's hurt. Big counter punches from Janusz. And Janusz, oh my goodness. Never done for the count. Tagged hard by Herdman, but Herdman plods onwards, finishing with the left hook. Herdman breathing big time and then lands another bomb with the right hand, alternating left and right hooks. Janusz still standing. Janusz covering up. What a crazy fight, Dean. Just going to the body, going to the head. Janusz on the back foot thus far, throwing some hooks from down by his waist. He needs to be careful, he needs to keep his hands up because we know Josh Herdman has got power in those punches. Janusz is rocked, Herdman presses him backwards. Janusz up on the back foot and then tags Herdman. Ho, ho, ho. What a wild, crazy back and forth brawl this one is turning into, Dean. Josh now on the outside, looking 
to evade those counter punches from Yanush. Yanush does a great job moving his head, covering up, and throwing those counter hooks. And then Herdman backs off. Yanush, mouth wide open. Who still got gas in the tank? Who cares? This is high octane fighting here on the Rise of Champions. Both athletes toe to toe. Some nice head movement there by Josh. Need to see more of that so he doesn't end up eating these counter punches from Yanush. Nice jab there. Found its home. Big right hand and over the top from Yanush. Both fighters just standing in the middle of the ring in front of each other. Yanush nearly spitting his mouthpiece out there. Big long punches from Yanush. Yanush up against the cave, pressing Josh nice and tightly there on the inside. Wolokovsky is absolutely walloping him there throughout that round, but Herdman rinsing him as well with the boxing. The crowd loving it, we're loving it. This is the rise of champions. Man, what a fight. here and what has been without a doubt the fight of the night thus far Dean Janusz Wolokowski here at 80 kilograms has been a force to be reckoned with but then let's talk about Josh Herdman you wouldn't even think for a moment here's a guy who's been in all the Harry Potter movies absolute madness from both men toe-to-toe -to -toe action an eye for an eye everything you want here in a contest at the rock it was almost purposeful on my part not to say it initially, Chris, because I wanted everybody to watch this and see him as a mixed martial artist. Coming from an acting background myself, Josh was one of the kids in Harry Potter. But you wouldn't believe, like you said, he's come out and he's shown some tremendous MMA skills, particularly in the boxing realm. You wouldn't believe we'd see this man on our screens as a kid. As he's in a bit of trouble here, circles out brilliantly, beautiful spinning back fist, lands, but Janusz keeps his hands up, shooting him for the single leg, turns it to a double. And shot from very far out, but the reaction time for Herdman, no doubt disadvantaged by the cardio that both men have been forced to put out throughout this fight. There's been more punches, in my opinion, in that last round than any we've seen all night, Dean. That was absolutely wild. Yanish on top, securing the takedown. Perhaps sensing that he needs to rack up some points if this goes to a decision to and make it, it favorable in his part. And Josh on the bottom looking for those, the guard position, looking to for the work up for the triangle, but it's very difficult up against the cage. And it would certainly behoove him to keep his weight down and at least control the top position to try to continue to take as you highlighted, Dean, an edge in the judges' scorecards and control. Just looking for that armbar. And he's looking to try to isolate that arm, Dean. He's high there, nice high guard. But Janusz postures up and is able to extract his right arm beyond the fulcrum and out of jeopardy. Janusz, great downward pressure, stuff in the game of Josh Herdman on the bottom. It's important to stuff, to make somebody almost go into a little ball underneath you because they haven't got any power in their legs to push you back and secure a limb. Josh one, works back to the guard here. One of the most impressive things to me about this fight, Dean, is that when one realm is equal, i.e. the boxing, both fighters able to really tag each other cleanly at multiple points, one of the fighters makes an adaptation and then gets to an advantage where we can see the physical capacity of what Janusz can impose from the top position being the difference. It's evident from Josh's excellent boxing skills that Janusz would probably opt to take this flight to the floor to rack up points and to limit damage as well. The judges intently looking on at the damage and the control. Which is certainly indicative of the effectiveness team. The effective striking, the effective grappling. This is a fight that certainly had it all. It goes over to the judges' scorecards. We'll tally it all up, we'll do the mathematics. But me personally sitting here right now, Dean, I don't know about you, but I'm just looking in awe. What was two men giving everything they had?
ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the decision, once again, give both these warriors a round of applause. What a fight. But after three incredible rounds of Rise of Champions action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. From the blue corner, Josh Herdman. But ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for a gallant runner-up all the way from Poland, Janusz Wolachowski. Yeah, guys, sorry, mate. Sorry. Alright. Where's the corner? Just put it in. Yeet! Yeet! Look at that, mate. Alright. Oh, guys, tonight. Look at me, slide in, guys, first. Yeah, one second. Alright, just quick one